What's going on guys? This is Muzzle Fuzzle. We're back with another episode of How to Pwn in Call of Duty Black Ops. Today we're going to be talking about the third LMG that you unlock in this game. And my refrigerator just turned on. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it just turned on and scared the fuck out of me. <sighs> Scary fridge. Anyways, throwing a tomahawk right here from C to A, trying to get lucky, but I don't get lucky. Um, except for when I'm with your mom. I get lucky every time. Every time. Alright, ah, uh, fuck. Back to the lecture at hand. We're, uh, we're talking about the M60 today. It's gonna be the- Ooh! Ooh, did you see me drop shot that clown? I was up in his face. He almost killed me and then I fucking drop shot his face off. Um, I got a gameplay here with the M60, the third LMG you unlock in this game. Uh, it's a big ass gun. It makes you feel really fat when you're walking around with it. It's got huge bullets as well. And it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to use. This is one of my favorite LMGs. This and the stoner, and uh, basically everything except for the RPK. I like all the LMGs in this game. They're a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, about this gun. In this gameplay, I'm using Ghost, Sleight of Hand, and Hacker All Pro. Uh, I'm on the PS3. That's why you can, you can kind of tell in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen it's got that PS3 layout rather than the Xbox layout. So I was giving some love to the PS3. I hopped on the PS3, got this gameplay. Um, I had a Berlin Wall gameplay it was like 40 and 1 and then when I loaded it into Sony Vegas to do this commentary it uh, it didn't have anything like it had no audio and it was really fucked up like jumping around all over the place so I think I think uh, something might be wrong with my PVR because watch this after I call on this blackbird the gameplay will keep going and then I'll go over get a chopper gunner and then the gameplay just cuts like cuts right here you see this it's just gonna jump to the chopper gunner and uh, that wasn't me that was my PVR so I don't really know what's wrong here I'm gonna speed through this chopper gunner I get like uh, one, two, two kills. A two kill chopper gunner. And I already got my puppies here. I'm getting stunned and then uh, I managed to kill the guy while I'm stunned. So luckily I got that dude while I was stunned. And uh, right here they only have B but they're switching, switching spawns because we were pretty much just raping them the whole time in this game. Um, so long story short, I got a new gameplay in like one night. So this gameplay isn't amazing but it's a pretty good score. And uh, I got puppies and I got a chopper gunner but they didn't do very well. So I thought it was still keepable. I do pretty well. Uh, hope you guys like it. But uh, yeah, let's talk about the in-game stats of the weapon a little bit. Jimmy, throw them on the screen, Jimmy. Jimmy? Oh, they're there. Okay. Yeah, they're on the screen right now. Uh, basically, it's just like every other LMG in the game. I don't really have much to say about the in-game stats. Um, you're going to feel really fat when you use this gun, so you can't try to play like a rusher. Don't be running around. Don't be sprinting a lot. Just find high traffic areas, especially on maps like this, on launch. You see this three here? Yeah, I'm spinning around. What, you got a problem? Anyways, uh, <laughs> maps like launch, these two spots where you can peek out of both sides of the launch pad, they're really, really good spots for people with LMGs. So if you guys are still on Black Ops and trying to find like good spots to play, um, these two towers on either side of the launch pad are really, really solid, and that's basically how I got this gameplay right here. Um, a lot of people say I'm camping or whatever, but I mean, you have to play defensively in Call of Duty if you want to do well, so uh, I personally like this gameplay. I thought it was pretty cool that I was running around with this M60 and I managed to get a gameplay first night and uh, burst firing people across map, getting headshots and stuff. That was pretty cool. I like this little back part. You can go right here. See this? Look at all that. There's just miles and miles outside of the map that you can't see and you can't go to. I've always thought about what it would be like if you could get outside of the maps because in uh, COD 4 you can get it. What is that noise? Do you guys hear those birds outside? What the hell? I'm going to go close my window and then come back to this commentary. I will be right back. Alrighty, I did a quick little edit job and now I'm back to the gameplay. Um, had to go close that window. That was weird. There was like crows. And I think some other birds too, some whistling birds, they were right outside of my window just barking at me. I don't know if you guys can hear it, you might be able to hear it if you go back and crank your sound up. But, back to the gameplay at hand, we were talking about the M60. Um, final words on using the M60 in this game is, you gotta know that you're fat. Don't try to doubt it, don't try to, you know, don't stay away from the mirror. You gotta know that you are fat when you use this gun. And uh, you just gotta stop eating those Twinkies and just sit and I don't know what the fuck I'm saying here anyways you're fat with this gun don't run around a lot and uh, you'll do good as long as you uh, just just keep your keep your eyes about you and uh, look around a lot and stay scoped up because this gun scopes up really slowly and shoots even slower 
uh, basically when you press the trigger, the right trigger when you're shooting this gun, it won't shoot the bullets for quite a while actually. It feels like it has a delay almost compared to other guns. Uh, just SMGs will shoot a lot faster. So so that's that for the in-game use. Um, if you guys want to do well, I'd recommend uh, either Flak Jacket or Ghost. Make sure you're using Slide of Hand and uh, whatever third perk is your fancy, it doesn't really matter. I'm using Hacker in this game. So yeah, let's talk about it in real life. The M60 in real life. It's a uh, family of American general purpose machine guns. There's all sorts of different ammo that can be fired. There's all sorts of different models of the M60. But uh, there's several different types of blah blah blah, armor piercing rounds, blah blah blah. The M60 was referred to as the pig during the Vietnam War. I thought that was pretty cool. That's uh, on the M60 Wikipedia link. That's where I read all these real life weapon stats from. I just go to Wikipedia, go to the like Wikipedia page of whatever gun we're talking about, and I just read right off of there. Um, I don't. I'm not like a gun guy. If you're looking for someone that really knows what they're talking about when it comes to guns, go hit up FPS Russia videos. But me, I just like to read about them and learn about them. Uh, I'm not really big on guns. I don't own any guns in real life. Uh, I'm only 19, so I can't even have a, a handgun here in my state. You have to be 21 to have a handgun. So, um, yeah, not really fond of guns, but I'm fond of Call of Duty. So I mean that helps. <laughs> Uh, that's about that as far as uh, I thought that was cool though that it's called the pig the nickname for this gun is the pig I didn't know that. that's pretty cool um, what else can we talk about we've talked about pretty much everything you guys need to know about the M60 but we got a little extra time here at the end to talk about what we always talk about random bullshit um, as far as my channel goes guys we got Mortal Kombat coming up here really soon we got Portal 2 coming up uh, I want to start getting into Let's Plays. I'm thinking about doing a Let's Play of Pokemon Yellow. I think that would be hilarious and lots of fun. And uh, playing through Pokemon doesn't take that long because uh, if you play on an emulator like I do, I just play it on the computer, you can get through Pokemon in like two days. So I might uh, crank that out, uh, maybe do a Portal 1 Let's Play, getting ready for Portal 2. I think that would be sweet too, and that doesn't take that long to beat either. Um... Lots of new videos in the works, lots of uh, cool stuff in the works. I'm going to be going to E3 this year, if you guys didn't know. I'm just kind of formally announcing that now. I don't know if I've really mentioned it in another video, but uh, yeah, E3 this year, if you guys don't know. Uh, I made a video about it last year. If you guys want to check my video about E3 that I made a year ago, uh, that will be in the description of this video, or I annotate it on the screen right now. But um, E3 is a big electronics festival. It's Electronic Arts Expo, I think, or... Uh, uh, what is it? Electronic Entertainment Expo. And uh, it's going to be a huge convention, man. And it's, it's press only, so you have to be like part of the industry to go. But I'm going with a few other YouTubers. I'm going with Bash. I'm going with White Boy. I'm going with X-Jaws and uh, Marco and Chilla from Team Noble. And we're all going to be there at E3. And I'm sure all the Machinima people are going to be there at E3. We're all going to be meeting everybody, making lots of videos, and playing lots of new games. That'll be the biggest thing for me, is I'm going to get hands-on with uh, all sorts of good games. I don't really know what's going to be there off the top of my head. But I'm getting excited because that's only about a month and a half away, and then I'll be bringing those kind of videos to you guys. But uh, we're finishing up How to Pwn here. We only got one more LMG now after this episode. Uh, the next episode of this series is going to be the stoner. Then I'm going to be on to the sniper rifles, and then I'm going to be done. And actually, after I'm done, I'm going to do a How to Pwn for a couple other weapons from a couple other different games. So my favorite weapons from some other games, I'm going to be doing some random How to Pwn episodes on those as well. So expect some Modern Warfare 2 and uh, maybe something else. But uh, yeah, guys, hope you guys like the video, and I will see you later.